Let's have a quick look at the options. Skip all cutscenes. Oh my god. I love that option. I think just story is what we're playing on. I don't know what this is. Or scoring? I don't know. Right, yeah. Sandbox, I guess it's sandbox. But that's fine. Story. A fresh start. I was going to put it on normal, I guess. I like to just play it on the difficulty that comes standard on the game. Auto saves, that's fine. Nice. Interesting, you don't normally get cutscenes like that in management games. I guess this is a story mode, so it makes sense. Everything you need to know to start your journey. My lighthouse is a mess. This unhinged weather and the constant catastrophes have been destroying whatever we managed to build. What a life. In any case, there's nothing else for it. We must rebuild. Ugh, I'm too old for this. Morning, Guardian. I'll wait for the next caravan. Let me know if I can help in the meantime. Ah, there you are. You know, although our lighthouse is resistant to stormy weather, I'm afraid our other buildings don't fare so well. Let's wait for daytime to start working on those. Okay. I think my camera placement's actually alright. Oh, it goes underneath. Oh. We should start by clearing out the debris. We need to recycle this wood. I'll take care of it. Just let me know where to go. <clears throat> Greenhouse. Woodcutter's cabin. A squirrel. Traveller has no requests. Minimum morale neutral. Confused. I I can't press. I, I don't understand. I might. Oh, okay. It's press. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That. Hold on. Here. This, I guess. That was very much not clear as to where it was meant to click, but sure. I'll remove the debris I should have done it done by this afternoon. Every activity is exhausting and lowers my morale. If I ever reach zero, I'll have to rest and won't be able to help. Okay. Greetings, Guardian. I see there is a, a greenhouse still standing. If you assign me two out of forage for food there. Good idea. Producing resources is survival 101. Work. Greenhouse. Okay. I'll be done by the end of the morning. The production of resources is dependent on factors. Morale, travel, species, weather. 
It's your responsibility as the Keeper to make sure that tasks get assigned efficiently. It's your home after all. Hold on a second. Oh, this is very quiet. No, that's up, Max. Okay. Maybe it's just me. Maybe just me. Seems everyone is busy. Time to move on to the next phase of the day. Alright, so once you set them to work, I guess. Oh, the greenhouse is cute. A makeshift greenhouse that grows a small amount of vegetables. Can be built by salamander, bats and squirrels. Reinforcements? Oh. After work it's time to rest, there's nothing better than a good binge to improve everyone's morale. The fuller the pot, the better we feel. Keep an eye on food reserves, however, it is always better to have some extra food saved up. A varied meal will give us different bonuses. Remember to mix it up your ingredients and quantities. The flood is better with big folks like you around. Your generosity deserves a feast. You may fill the pot with various edible resources you have in storage. Traveller morale will be affected by the amount of resources in the meal. The recipe and its effects will change depending on the ingredients you use. Feast. I'll do feast I guess just now since that's what they asked for. Green salad. Okay. Proceed to the next morning. This fire is key to our survival. If I let it go out, travellers will not see the lighthouse and I will become isolated. Each day the weather will have varying degrees of impact on the flame. We can maintain the fire by giving it sources of fuel. However, the items used for fuel are also materials required to build and reinforce. The future probably holds some difficult choices. For now, however, we will have enough wood to keep the fire going as strong as it can. You may feed the fire with items you have in storage that can be used as fuel. The weather lowers the fire strength. If it goes out, you have to revive it or lose the game. The stronger the fire, the faster the next exiles will find the lighthouse. Okay. It's very strong, no one can miss it. Okay, it's as strong as can be. Right. Travellers will see it from far away. Oh, okay, okay. Okie dokie. Oh, that's when the next people will arrive, I see. They have no requests. And it's foggy, which means fire minus one, morale minus three. Okay. Our next travellers are still a few days away, so no arrivals. Let's tackle morning tasks. I make a suggestion, you do not have the means of wood production, I can take care of that if you'd like. We have the ability to build a woodcutter's cabin. We're looking for places to take refuge in during our journey. We come with different skills, try to use us at our best. Let's build a woodcutter's cabin. See, this very much reminds me of... Spirit Fader, this build function. 
Got it. We should keep building up our food supply. Very well, I'll wait for an assignment. Everyone seems busy. They should be finished by dinner time. Okay. The exiles' morale impacts their work. No strength will automatically rest. This traveller is exhausted. A good meal might perk them up. They're in good shape. A good meal will make them feel great. Satisfied, which improves their resource. Is happy, which greatly improves their resource production. It's time for me to go back on the road. I'll be on the next convoy out of here. I'll check on you if I'm ever around again. Thanks for your help. You're always welcome. Have a nice trip. Oh, so the people don't stay in Tresen. So if I just do a copious meal, it will keep them happy. In fact, I could do a frugal meal and it would still keep them happy. Oh, fill up the- okay, it's making me fill it. I keep forgetting I have to push it to the next day. Can be seen from far enough away the next convoy will be here tomorrow. Sometimes smart to save resources. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything with the fire, honestly. It's totally fine. Hold on, I can hear some. Something outside. It's not outside my house, so... Uh, it's not told me about that yet, but I've literally been in the game for like 5-10 minutes, so... Uh, I'm in a story mode, so it's kind of taking me through the... the stuff just now. It's not allowed me to access the war yet. Okay. This person is leaving today. Two days left before the end of this request. I don't have a request. It's cloudy. Okay. Oh, it does tell me the next couple of days. Production insects plus five. Hmm. Production fish plus five. A convoy just arrived as planned. Travelers looking for a rest, a refuge, or a meal will stay here for a few days. Let's welcome them as best we can. Quite like the idea that people come and go, so like, you don't always just have like, colonists who have specific like, uh, things that they're good at. Climate imbalance forces travellers to move constantly. A caravan of refugees will arrive in your hamlet from time to time. With Elmer leaving, we have two available spaces. Who are the new visitors? Bianca, who can do a worm terrarium, who produces insects. Hmm. They are neutral. This person, a storeroom. Morgan. Let's see how we may help each other. Let's move on to the morning. Hi. Bye. Have a nice life. Each traveller stays for a given time. When that time is up, they leave with the next caravan. They will continue to help until the caravan reaches the hamlet. Any accommodation deprived traveller gets a morale penalty every evening and leaves with the next caravan. If new accommodation is built before the departure, they will automatically stay. Okay. Hi everyone. See, I haven't eaten bugs for weeks. Do you think I could set up a bug husbandry here? Of course. I'm actually dying to try out some varied recipe. 
You'll like it, mark my words. We bears ex are experts in producing insects. Let me show you. Okay. I guess just here. Workshops aren't the only thing sent us apart. All species have their own bonuses. We squirrels can produce more vegetables than anyone. So I must account for each of your character six to optimise what you can accomplish. Okay, so... You can work in the greenhouse then. And you can do the woodcutter's cabin, I guess. The world of Dial of Wind is home to many different species. Each species has specific features. Their respective knowledge gives them the ability to build different types of rooms. They also specialise in the production of certain resources over others. Okay. Man, that's the second legendary today. What is going on? Unheard of. The recipes you discover and their effects are documented in the book. Yeah. So it's the green salad. Fire's alright, but not very bright. I'll maybe put one in. Um, do you know what? Uh, yeah. Fuck it, we'll do it as strong as can be. Right, windy, which means we get higher insect production today. And building something, what would be most useful for the community? Oh. Do we want more wood or more vegetables? Let's do more wood. Here. Now that room is built, we can start setting up our bug husbandry. I could take care of it right now if you like. As for me, I'm looking for travelling buddies. I would love it if you sent me to work with another traveller. Okay, so Bianca does the insects. Because we don't, we're getting food from the insects, so we can do the wood to double in the wood store, I guess. And now we can add insects, yeah. So. We'll try this one. Vegetable and insect bento. A meal box filled with vegetables and insects. Okay.
Fire is alright, but not very bright. Oh, the wind took more of it out. Right, yeah. It's alright, we got plenty of wood. We're good. Oh, sorry, dog. Light rain, we get fish production from this, but we don't have any fish. Oh, wait, but everyone's leaving today. I can probably move my keyboard out of the way, cat, because, you know, I'm not really using it. <clears throat> we should improve the lighthouse's housing capacity. I could build some housing with the appropriate amount of wood. Okay. The more travellers that can simultaneously accommodate. Nice. Um, I'll put you in the greenhouse. Wait, what can you build? Oh, you can build another one of these, I see. And you can work. This isn't Apex. No, it's not, Jin. Correct. Oh, I think that's my Amazon delivery. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Oh, it wasn't my Amazon delivery. It's always something for the damn garden, I tell you. Uh, okay. Bento box is equal parts veg in this. This will make everyone pretty happy. Fire's still fine, so we're good with that. <clears throat> Day six. Is this when people arrive? It is. And Evelyn will leave. Oh, so does Bianca. Oh, man. I wonder if someone coming in can do the fish fishing. Okay. We have space for three. Oh well. I thought Evelyn was going home. No, going away. Charlie can cut wood. You can do insects. You can also do wood. Slightly improves a traveler's morale. Garden. Garden. You know, I think I'd be better with Evelyn, Charlie, and Ben. Because this person can just do the exact same that this person can do. Although this person can build more housing. 
Oh no, not you. You. If you change your mind, you can still click the cancel task before entering the next phase and assign travel or a different task. Okay. Move a room allows you to move a room you already built to a free spot in exchange for some resources. The action will keep the traveller busy for the day and both locations will be inaccessible. Oh. That will come crashing against the lighthouse. Waves can vary in size, but the rooms closest to the ground are always most vulnerable. We must reinforce our rooms if we want to avoid losing them. Cost resources, but still better than go back to square one. The island regularly undergoes apocalyptic phases during which natural disasters will strike the hamlet. Such phases are shown on the weather display by a string of red forecasts and disasters. One of the several disasters will manifest during an apocalyptic phase, the nature of which is shown on the weather display alongside its danger level. This information helps you prepare. Each phase ends with a rainbow weather which heralds the return of better days and grants several boons for surviving. Boon. I like the word boon. 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 Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, how do we reinforce stuff then? Alright, oh, reinforce. I'll reinforce that, there we go. A garden. Wonder if this one will be okay. Oh, I can't, I can't go. It has to have a bottom one to get a top one. Right, okay. Hmm. Sure. That'll do. I don't think your broken sword was quite that fancy, Axagoras, but I'll leave you to whatever, whatever you want to believe there. It's Evelyn's birthday, it might help morale if we cook them a nice extra meal for the occasion. Uh, okay. I'll put it up a wee bit, the fire up a wee bit. Minus five insect today, but we get plus five on fish. Even though we can't do fish yet. I found this while clearing out some debris. I can keep it for myself or trade it. Oil. Sure. Right. Now we don't have enough wood, so you're going to...
go here. We'll still do bugs even though it's a less likely thing to get, like we get less of them. Just builds up some of our stores. Um, what if we do... more of the vegetables? Less of the bugs. Ratatouille. Okay. I'll bump it right up. I wonder if we can work in the storm? Can we still, like, function? Tidal wave level 2. Level 2 hits the two lower floors. We should be fine. We did do... We reinforced the bottom two floors, so... That's fine. And the greenhouse is above level 2, so... We should be good. The storm rages, this is our last chance to reinforce our weakest rooms. I think we're fine. I presume this doesn't need reinforced or anything, right? It's just these. Like, does this need reinforced? No, it's just these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can't reinforce them now because it requires ore to do them now. So, we can just work. Um... above ground is like dangerous so they all come down here to eat. <laughs> Unless this is meant to be inside and I can just see through it, you know. Insect spring rolls. you have all your knowledge you need. Good luck. Okay. Storm's coming in. Everyone in the lighthouse! Like, how does this dock survive down here? Look at that rainbow. Look at all them chickens. Get two people weaving today. Right, production is plus on everything today. Oh, that's the boon, I guess. Okay, okay. We've got space for two people.
Ooh, this person has got fishing and a pantry. Uh, what are you? Garden, woodcutting, bedroom, insects, probably. Well, if we can get the fish for food, I'm tempted to try and get the storeroom. Because then we can keep more stuff. We'll see, I guess. All this garbage was brought up by the crazy weather. What if we collect it and recycle? Good idea. Let's start with the forest. Or there should be plenty of materials. We should start there. Uh, let's go with the wooden insects. Oil and fish, I think. Mostly because I've got wooden insects from just my normal stuff, you know. If you lack time or want to experience the game at a faster pace, you can click the auto skip button above the wheel. Once the tasks of the day are finished, the game will automatically move to the next day. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Are these rooms like okay? They kind of look a little worse for wear. Right, um. Can I do a garden? You do insects. Right, how do we do a fisher cabin? Oh, it also does, it goes on here, interesting. I need to watch my wood. Well, I can put someone on woodcutting today, I think we'll be okay. You, apparently. See, I wish you could just click this and it would just auto-supply the things. Chapter zero. Nice. Floating objects may be spotted in the sea. It seems many resources have been washed away. I'm wondering maybe they could go gather some of it and see what the sea's gifted us. Waves crash with force and the rocks are really sharp. I might have an idea. If we restore the old fishing cabin, we could make good use of it. Just need to gather resources. Okay. Construction sites are the game elements representing the setup of an extension to the lighthouse. Construction sites require a dedicated number of resources. Players can stock theirs progressively or in one go. Okay. So we need a lot of it, basically, for that. Okay, okay. You go there. Hey, now we can store more stuff, which is good. Mm -hmm. 
You never really need to give a feast. I guess a feast probably gives like a boon of some kind. But I feel like right now it's not worth it. There's three of them leaving when this comes in. Fish and wood give better production to them. I found this while tidying. I think it should be in storage. We have what we need. You can keep it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need the insects. That's fine. So we can store 60 wood now. Still only 40 insects though, which is interesting. I wonder what the garden is. The garden just oh, it's for rest, I guess. I guess that's for when they like need a break. I don't think there's any point in gathering insects, honestly, because we have enough. What's this one? A pantry? Oh, it stores food. Hmm. Okay, now we can store more food, that's better. Plus five wood production. It gives a plus to everything except metal, but we don't have metal yet, so... Okay, we get new people to there. Okay, we can take... I think we always want a wood chop insect and then I guess, I mean, eeny meeny, they're both the same. A sunflower trait. When the weather is sunny, heat wave or drought, the production is increased. I mean, we're not going to get that kind of weather, but I mean, it's not a bad thing, I guess. If the meal includes fish production increased if the meal includes insects to get a production increase in. okay. okay this is starting to get a bit better looking we could really do with more food all around to fill the pantry and then i guess wood Get rid of some so we've got more storage space. So. I'm just going to put you on wood. You're also on wood. Uh, I think we'll reinforce the fish just now. Just because I want to keep on top of the reinforcement for when bad weather comes in. So we want fish and insects, was it? Can I see what their traits are here? No, I cannot.
Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were hey, occupied with whether or not they could. They didn't stop to think if they should. It's Cade's birthday. Sure. You can have more vegetables. Some left materials on the workbench. You can keep that, that's fine. Right, uh... Let's... I'll put another just so we have space for everything. Nice. Cool. It's uh, it's good so far is it's definitely like kinda weird because of how it's set up, but not in a bad way or anything. Um it definitely feels a lot more relaxing than your average, like, city builder. But I'm still in story mode, so, you know. Take from that what you will. Wait, what was the weather like? Oh, we've got a, st a level 1 storm tidal wave coming in. So we need to reinforce the garden, and we should be good. We'll make sure we do that today. So, if you reinforce this, we should be good because it's only a level one, so. We'll finish that now. Should be able to fish for all sorts of things now. The lighthouses community is extremely grateful to you. Nice. I guess someone can operate that. Oh yeah, look. Oh wait, is this different? Oh that's, yeah, using that, okay. Interesting. Um... I mean, sure, let's do that. 55% wood, vegetable, fish, insect. That's good. The bottom level is fine for the next storm coming in, which is good. I was going to say, that doesn't make, that one more click didn't actually make the meal better, which was interesting. Do 
chapter one. Nice. Could do with some upgrades. I hope this letter will reach you at the top of your lighthouse where winds and waves entrust you with their mysteries. I'm currently in a caravan en route with a new invention that might be of interest to you. Last time he visited he helped me big time to set up the lighthouse's rotating mirror. All of his inventions have turned out to be extremely useful. Then again, he sort of messes things up each time as well. I'm eager to see what he's came up with. Oh. Okay. One more day till the tidal wave. We always end set production, but we get good fish production. Okay, let's see what people were getting. Fish. Weather's light rain or heavy rain. Plus two to morale. That seems quite good. In fact, I can take all four. We're completely switching over all the people here. Keeper, you would you join us for a little morning exercise? Uh, wood production, I guess. Sure. Wait for Roger's arrival. Right, Morgan. Let's do, I don't know, a bit of everything I guess, one, two, three, four. You don't actually have a specialty, so, oh no wait, I don't, stop. Uh, you are woodcutter, put you in there first. You are insect catcher, you are greenhouse, which means you get to do the fishing. Wait, someone wanted fish in their meal, didn't they? Oh shit, the fire's almost out. We're fine, it's fine. Tidal wave time. Office, is it meant to say down poor? <laughs> do, you think that's, do you think that's a mistake or that's like just, uh, is it meant to be like a joke? Oh wait, did I have to m reinforce these again? Hmm. I think you can still reinforce the day of the tidal wave.
Yeah, you can. Okay, it happens that night. So you have to continue to read. The reinforcement gets broken. Noted. I did wonder that the last time, but I kind of just assumed that it would be okay. By sticking to the other, should be able to clean up the hamlet. Where should we start? Uh, pick up the planks that were torn off or metal remains. I guess we'll get the metal. Raise morale to maximum for 15 travelers in one game. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get a bunch of wood. And I guess insects. here actually get fish oh I forgot about you Okay, we've got two spots now. Um, you are woodcutter, insects. Let's take fish. I guess. How have you been? Oh, this is Roger. Did you have a nice trip? With the weather we're having these days, it was rather chaotic. I think this place should be fine. It's been so long since your last visit. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean? I tend to let my imagination float away. I recently decided I'd like some place quiet to work on all the new ideas, so I thought you thought about you and I was right, this basement is absolutely perfect. I mean it's a bit of a mess, but we'll get it get to it. We could make a real think tank hotspot. Oh, it's like a research spa space, I guess. 120 wood for the projects room, okay. No, you can keep them, that's fine. Okay. I'm kind of regretting building the garden at this moment in time. It's kind of like the rec room where it's helpful if people are stressed. But I don't really have that issue at the moment, so it's just kind of taking up space. But it's fine. We actually don't really have space for anything. We're like maxed out on everything.
Could probably start reinforcing some stuff because I've got a feeling at some point the weather's going to hit all three levels. Can't reinforce. Oh, it's in use, that's why. Do that one. Angry. Yeah, not bad, thank you. Now we're fine. Six months. Woo. Six months? God damn. Thank you very much for the six month sub. I appreciate it. Just keep doing the wood. Okay, we'll reinforce these as well. How's it going, Hanway Hangry? What day is it? It's a Wednesday. It's middle of the weekend, too. Um, Insect spring rolls. I think it's Wednesday, yeah. I think so, too. I spent some time with other communities and seen them make offerings to the sea. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh, we, we've got a level 1 tidal wave. Look, there we go. Told you. And they're still not there. God damn it, that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh shit. Uh, in fact, no, let's make more wood. So let's make a ton of wood. they show up soon. That's, there's nothing worse than people waste your time like that. The art style very much reminds me of Spirit Fader, although the gameplay is nothing like it. But it, it looks very much like it art style wise and even like the way you build your Um, the way you build your buildings on the like grid is very like Spirit Fader. But the gameplay is obviously nothing 
like the actual gameplay looks nothing like it. I do like it, however, I don't know. I don't know how long it would keep my interest because I'm already feeling like I I don't think I could sit and play like four or five hours. It's not like your normal city builder where No, it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like a really short loop. So I don't know. There's like not as much to like sink your teeth into. It's really, no it just came out of early access into full release actually. The thing is it probably has more to do, I just haven't got to it yet. I'm going to, I will keep playing it but I don't know. Like, uh, t days pass really fast, in it. So you put people to work, but you don't watch them do work. Like, you just click next and it skips to, like, the end of the day. And then you sort out their meal and then you, you skip to the end, to the overnight. And then you skip to the daytime. So, like, you're jumping through time. Whereas normally you would, like, set people to, like, work. And you'd be able to, like, zoom in like, and see them working in their wee rooms. But... It just, you just jump past all that. So I feel like you don't get to enjoy the scenery. Like the little rooms look so nice and I feel like you don't get to enjoy them as much. Like people using them. I don't know. Uh, we need to reinforce these though. Because there's a level 1 tidal wave coming in. This is fine, this is fine. See, like, that's me set them to work, right? So they're all going to do their thing. And you can kind of zoom in, but time doesn't pass. Like, you just, you have to click next and then it will jump to them finishing their task. You know? Like, this is the fishing pin. I don't know. Like, this is as much as you get to see. Like, what's he even doing? Why is he knocking on the door? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I just, like... I, I really like the art style, I just wish there was more going on. Also with the meals, right? So you can you can make recipes, right? So these are the ones I've found where this means greater percentage of vegetables, no fish, no uh and six. And it gives you a green salad, which gives you plus five production to it. This one is a greater percentage of vegetables, no fish, and a small amount of insects, and it gives you this. But the problem is, right, again, something else I don't know if I like is, see when I click on this recipe, I can't just auto make it. I have to still manually create the meal, whereas I feel like if I've found the recipe, I should be able to just like double click that, and it should just make the food again the same way you know like why do i have to keep making it after i've found the recipe for it like this is equal parts vegetable fish and more insects so you know things like that that are just a bit like eh
Yeah, like if you're trying to find a new recipe, that makes sense for sure. But if you're, if it's a known recipe, you should just be able to like click it and it just makes the food. Found this while clearing out. Keep it for myself or trade it if you'd like. I always would be getting my own. No, that's good. Okay, these should all be fine from the wave. We can see the wave's going to hit this level here, but these are all reinforced. So we should be good. To just work today. Oh wait, no. Spent some time. We should make offerings. Why do you always want to make offerings? Come on. Get away. The tidal wave's coming in. Stop getting standing out on the dock. This garbage is brought up crazy, uh, brought up by the crazy weather. What if we collect and recycle it? Uh, let's go for the oil and fish, I guess. Uh, let's go for the wooden insects, actually, because we could use the wood. Usador, Wizard of the Twelve Throne of Rathesius, Master of Light and Shadow. Hey, Fevers. Uh... Let's have you out there, actually. And I'm just going to put the last two in this because I will be getting it all back. <sighs> how's the game going? It's good, but I just... I don't know, like, how long it will, it's going to, like, keep me interested. Do you know what this game feels like? It feels like... A uh, switch or handheld colony game. It's far more like fast. You just jump through days. You just assign tasks. You jump to the end of the day. The tasks are done. So like you assign someone to wood cutting, you know exactly how much wood they're going to get, and that will just be their job for the day. And then you jump to the end. So it's more like resource uh, collecting game. 
and then like resource management game that's what you're doing more than anything else and then what happens is every few days in game you'll lose your like none of the people like live in your colony they're all just passing through so you'll get people that are good at things and then a caravan will show up and you'll get a choice of more new people and then some people will leave and they'll kind of move in and out and the difficult part i guess is that tidal waves hit and your buildings depending on the height of the wave have to be reinforced to withstand it and that's kind of the thing you have to keep on top of it's definitely just a more resource management game which isn't bad i just don't know if i would sit for like stream after stream for four hours at a time playing it you know it's more like hop on for like half an hour play for a little bit put it down hop on for half an hour play it like here and there and just like a pick up and play game that's what it feels more like to me again not in a bad way or anything it is fun it just feels less like i don't feel like now like when you play Manor Lords or something and you look up and you're like oh shit it's been three hours and I have barely blinked because there's so much happening and you're having to like read all the stuff and look at what you're doing and all this that that doesn't happen in this. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay. All travellers come to your home with a request. Each request must be fulfilled before the traveller's stay is over. Work with one traveller. Okay. Success earns you project points. A traveller who's fulfilled the request is, or no longer has any left to do so will leave the lighthouse with the next exile caravan. Oh, okay. So this is a new thing that's been added then. Insects for dinner and I'll get plus five blueprints I guess. Okay. I can do insects for dinner. Does it have to be only insects? Or does it just have to have insects in it? What if we just do insects? Insect chips. Okay. Oh, that crunch, the juice, the fat, the gravy. Oh, the gravy. Ooh. Such a well-performed request will surely fill up your knowledge meter. Sharing is a foundry principle of science. Now let us take our first project. Okay, so we've got a research tree. So this has added a bit of depth to it, which is nice. Adaptation, collaboration, or production. Debris recycling. Squirrel tier two rooms, a mushroom cellar, and a kitchen. Okay. Mouse tier two rooms give you a kitchen and a dormitory. Increase the fire's maximum capacity by one. Caravan size to fit three extra travelers. Extra storage. Okay, now extra storage seems good because I'm already maxing out the storage. Although it is only wood, metal, and oil. A net. Oh, for the for the big thing. So it provides more. Hmm. An attic. Hmm. I kinda want an attic. So we can store more food. Let's get the attic. Finishing request energy project points. Project points can be spent to unlock advantages. You will be offered multiple projects. Their cost will vary, so choose the next one un uh, choose the next one carefully. You're opening up new perspectives for us. Good thing you're dealing with a specialist. Me. Glad I could help. The fire is fine. Chapter 2. Nice. Hello? 
There are other ways to survive. Oh, do we get to go down? There is a building under the water. Come have a look. My grandfather's pipe? What is that thing? Buy my grandfather's pipe. No clue. Some sort of lizard? Help me carry it. We shall warm her up inside. Carry it. Nice. I've never seen a lizard with scales that bright. Not a lizard, I'm a salamander. Oh, like those monsters that summon fire? Ugh, that's a stereotype. If only I could... <coughs> it needs treatment. What can we do? Oh, there's Mika, who's a doctor. He's helped me in the past. Last I heard was living in a village over the hill not far. I will write him a letter. Okay. His hands. That was such a weird animation. That's funny. Okay. Holy shit, we're getting sun. This is the first time. Okay, new travellers. Right, we now have requests, which is different. Uh, so they get insects for dinner. Produce 26 vegetables to give us 7 blueprints. Produce 28 insects and produce 31 wood. I mean, that's actually doable, you know? Oh, I can only take two. Mm. Well, these two are the same, so let's do... I guess vegetables and insect vegetables and wood maybe. No, they're the same. Let's take that. Okay. You can do some insects. You can chop some wood. You can fish. And you can... Just, we'll just put them in the greenhouse. They're not as good, but it's fine. I don't want more wood, so... I was going to say, why is that one not super happy, but it's the salamander who's still injured, so that makes sense. Okay, we should do these today, which means they'll leave pretty soon. I need to watch that, because they leave once the request is completed, so if I want anything from them, I'll need to get that before... I complete the request. I left the moment I got your request. We found this little, I mean, salamander floating in the water. Could you examine her? I don't know. It hasn't told me feathers. Uh, it just says to take on travelers and, I don't know, survive, I guess, just now. Cook something with a variety of ingredients that will put her back on her feet. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's not like... Uh, there's not like so anything like, you know, escape this place. Like, I think we just run this lighthouse and travellers just pass through. So we're just here to survive the bad weather and make make it a place that travelers can like spend time i guess i need to reinforce a bunch of these this one is only a level one all of these are level ones 
this one's still level two. I kind of want the two level up here because every time this hits a one, this gets damaged. Whereas if, I, if it's only on the bottom level, like if uh, that's also a one. I kind of want to put that down here. I wish I could move stuff a bit easier. Hmm. Right, hold on. Let me have a look at your boyprints. Woodcutter's garden, woodcutter's cabin in a garden. So how does the moving work? See, I, I can't move that up here. I would need to move that... Like here, I guess. It can't go up here. Which is of no use to me because the whole point is that I want it. I think I'll do some upgrade. I think I'll do some reinforcing while I've got like kind of excess stuff, I guess. What's your blueprint? A pantry. I kind of tempted to get another pantry because then I could store more food. Because I can fit one up here. Do this just now. We're not producing anything today, we'll just use a bunch of stuff. So they want a varied meal. So we do two of each, I guess. A complete platter. I mean it has to be good, right? Fire's still fine. I'll just leave that as is. The weather's pretty good, so we don't. The fire should be okay for a little while. Okay, and then we can do this today, I think. And by the time the caravan gets there tomorrow, they should go back. Uh, let's do some singing. Sure. Okay, so I'll probably also reinforce these two because I've got a feeling it's going to give me a level 2 tidal wave at some point, but I need to do the garden first for sure. So we'll do a bunch of wood production. Um, I think I'll do you here. I'll do more wood, I think. And then I think you can do insects. Mash. Ew. That looks disgusting. Mm, I'll add one more on.
I never finished that other quest. That's okay. 29 vegetables, 29 vegetables. I'll do a greenhouse. Fishing. Become happy. That should be doable. And you. Alright, there's wind coming up. Still got sun for a couple of days though. Okay, um... Let's upgrade this. You can work in the greenhouse. You can work in the fish. You can chop wood, I guess. Ratatouille. I thought I had already come up with Ratatouille. I guess it, it depends. There's different Ratatouilles. We'll just max that out. I tend and I find insects tend to proliferate at night. I could try and catch them. Um, no, just leave it. Go to your bed. Okay, you two are done. You're almost done and I just need you to become happy. It's fine. Okay, um... We only have one more room to do. So we'll get that done, I think. Uh, you can do this one. Need way more vegetables. Yeah, get the fish. And do the insects actually. Because we can store way more now, which is nice. I need to look at what other. Although I haven't come across. This is the problem, you unlock blueprints, but then you're kind of stuck until that specific type of animal shows up that has that blueprint. Everyone's happy. You seem better, my friend. Thank you for healing me. That's what hamlets are for. Where did you come from? The sea. Yeah, but what island? No, I came from the sea. Our island was swallowed up before I even existed. I was born under war. Sadly, our underwater village shattered under the pressure. I find this very strange. I assure you, if you allow me to stay a while, I'll um, try sending a few messages to search for my people. The important thing is you're getting better. I'll leave soon. I have to other people to tend to. So we're going to get to build underneath soon, I think. Oh, wait, no. What's missing? Oh, down here.
Okay, everyone's going to be moving on when the thing shows up tomorrow, so... It's going back to sunny after the windy. I've noticed you've got the remains of an embarkation bay. Aren't you using it? A what? An underwater dock for... Bathy scaffs? Bath I don't know how to say that. Divers and amphibious animals. I thought it was for watching fish. It was there when I got here. That means it's good enough base to build underwater. I'll make a list of what I need. Just trust me. Okay. 120 wood. Okay. It's the lump's birthday. It might help me out if we cook them a nice special meal. Sure. I wish I could see. Like, see when it shows me this? Wait, can I... S oh, I can look. Okay. Right, I can give him fish. Okay. I was going to say, I, I wish I could see what my resources are. <laughs> you can see what the resources are. Christ, that uses so much wood. They're always what I give shit to the ocean, man, honestly. Not this time. I need the wood. The caravan should show up today. Okay, I mean, we guess we're taking all four. Right, what are you good at? Greenhouse and wood cutting. What blueprints have you got? Greenhouse and a wood cars cabin. Um let's first of all do this. On here actually. Oh, there's a level one tidal wave coming in two days, but we're fully blue we're already sorted, so I don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, the attic. That's what I was wanting to get. Oh, does this is just automatic? Is that what it is? Uh, extra storage for wood and the net. I wonder if a kitchen changes the food set up. I wonder if that makes the food better or like. Hmm. Let's get the this. 
Wait, I have 46 of these? Fuck my life. Increases the- ooh, I can go upwards. That was a lot of upgrades on one go, holy shit. Blue sky, tomorrow's tidal wave. We should be okay. We should be fine. Um, okay. Everything's already fixed up, so... It's only a level 1, it'll just hit this bottom row. Alright. Uh, 70 wood here. Let's get this finished. We've made a base for underwater facilities, but it's only temporary. We'll need to move on to some serious stuff. I think it'll take long. It's proof properly wood can be used to create an air bubble that's that said it's fragile and has an unfortunate tendency to float. But no worries, I'm on it. All we need to do is reinforce it with metal. That's a rare material. I might have a couple of pickaxes I could smelt. I'll build a small backup mine. It should allow us to extract some ore. Oh nice. So we're gonna be able to get ore now. Okay. Sweet. This is cool. Uh, okay. Let's do... Mm. You can go back on this, actually. I feel like if they don't have a specialty, they're better on that. Oh, there's another thing now. I presume there's not a mine already? No, I don't think so. Wait, you've got the blueprint for the mine, that's what it is. I need four two wood for that, right, okay. Uh, you can just do this just now then. And then say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're fine. I think you're okay. Build the mine, become happy. Okay. Oh, it does go up here. Oh, no. oh no, I can put it up here. That's good.
Nice. Hey, it became happy. Okay, nice. Tidal wave time. Off how the mine is on the top floor is. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like underground or something. Okay, um, we can take all four again. All this garbage. Let's go for oil and fish, I guess. We don't really get oil from anywhere else yet, so. No one's gonna need to worry about metal. Get me some metal and I'll finish up your dock. Plus 20 metal. Okay. I mean, we've got five, and that's just from random stuff, I guess. Uh, so you probably want to mine. Mm. Let's reinforce a bit. You go here. And you can fish. Just to make sure we've got food. Oh, you as well. Um, oh, you can get insects. Yeah, that's fine. see the point in going above a copious meal at this point, honestly. I think I've ever chose to give a feast before. Mm, work with a traveller and produce wood. Okay. Let's just keep you mining. You can produce wood now. You can reinforce the insect thing. You can fish still. And you can Reinforce the garden. Hmm. Does that change anything? No, but it gives me a new meal, I guess. Fish fill it. Mayor needs to work with someone. Okay, I need to do that today then. So, what is it you like to do? Oh, you're just whatever. Okay. Um, let's put you in with wood production then.
you can reinforce this one this time and you can work on the insects That finishes them off before the caravan gets here, so we should get uh, another full replacement. Just leave the fire as is, because it's not that bad. Okay, everybody should be switching out, except Sammy, who stays here. Again, should take all four. Right, let's see. Um, let's just get the extra storage. And the... Uh, oh, we've already got it. So is this now finished? Yeah. Um, let's go for... An extra day of forecast. Uh, let's do, I guess, these. Let's take the extra day of forecast, sure. Why not? And the extra caravan. Fuck it. Fuck. Uh, we can do this too. Hey Will, how's it going? There you go, the docks foundation is complete. You can add various structures anywhere you like now. Don't mention it, you helped me a lot too. Got a reply back, I need to leave them here to see them, but don't worry, I've got it covered. I'll mention your lighthouse and send some volunteers. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, not bad, thank you. Work was fine. Went a walk. It was a nice sunny day. I had a McDonald's because I was so hungry that I couldn't think about anything else on the drive home from the walk other than eating. I actually ate my McDonald's chips before I even got home. <laughs> while driving home. Right, let's, let's add him to mine one more time before he leaves. A kitchen? Ooh. A dormitory? I can do two travellers. Uh, let's do a kitchen maybe. get wood. Insect for dinner. I didn't look at any of those things actually. That's a good shirt. Mm. This. Okay. Yeah, they were good. It was surprisingly warm, honestly. Um... But it was fine, like, it was Scotland warm, so it was like 16 degrees or something, you know. I still had a jumper on. I could have went without the jumper, though. Like, it was not... It was not cold enough for a jumper. Ooh, a duck! Underwater expansion. Nice. You the owner of this place? I am. I've heard about your hamlet from Sammy. I must say I'm impressed. I'm quite proud of it. It can resist any storm. It's the ideal shelter. 
A nice fire you have. It must eat up quite some wood. I fear the day we run out. Have you ever tried oil? It would burn longer. We use it back home. It's a rare product. You seem to know a lot about it. When I was young, I worked in a workshop that used to automate oil production. That machine's engine ran on wood, see? It transformed a less efficient fuel into a better one with a higher heat capacity. Now that's promising. Using the underwater facilities, we can afford to open an oil factory. If you'd free up some of the logging, what do you think? Nice. I'm up for that. We get like two of those a year here, yeah. Produce wood and Enzo needs to work with a traveller, okay. I must say, I'm getting a wee bit more into this game now, funnily enough. Uh, Enzo needs to work with someone, I think I'm going to put you on wood production. No, let's wait. Forty five wood. Oh, no, I'm going to have people doing wood. I'll put you on wood. Okay. Right, so it doesn't change this situation at all. Interesting. You guys are all leaving. Reinforce the oil factory before he goes. We have another day though, that's fine. I think I might try and build the dormitory. I don't know if we've got enough wood. 26 probably went on. Now that's an impressive machine. It's fragile though. Before we're going into production, we should reinforce it. Okay. Five metal, yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, So that adds, so I wonder what the point, well I guess, is there any point in having a greenhouse if you've got a kitchen? So I want to know. Oh, I had a, I had a um, peanut butter and jam uh, on toast for my breakfast this morning. It was so good. Uh, 
you know what? Yeah, you can do that. Uncrustables over there? Wait, what is that? You're absolutely horrible, but hit just right when it's late and you don't want to make a PB and J. Oh, I don't I don't think we do. Oh no wait, there's three pages now. Oh choices. Have to be high as fuck to eat one of yours. Tries one two months ago, worst decision I've made. Now I need to Google what that is. It's like a pre-made sandwich? No, you don't- we don't have that here. I've never seen that in my life. Probably the most affordable thing- I mean, yeah, that sounds about right. I think it'll hold. Now all we have to do is push that handle and fill it with wood. Oh, it can for several days in a row. Hmm. Over several days? The number of production days will determine the total quantity of oil and producing for three or five days will provide a daily production bonus and lower costs. I see. go for the 50. It's the boiler, the oversupply needed to run the oil factory slightly increase the underwater temperature. Is that a problem? Not if you want a giant sauna but if you're actual after functional rooms it might be. Overheating won't shut the boiler down but anything underwater can't function. I think we should pause oil production for a day or two so the boiler can cool off. I'd have temperature gauge to avoid this. The cost of overheating slots adds to the underwater room's resource cost. If the overheating gauge is full, and if all overheating slots are used, you will not be able to start new productions. During the night, you recover one slot. You may recover more of them if you haven't had any production, production during the day. Okay. We're going to get 17 oil. Let's do more wood, I think. Industrial Revolution. Okay. 
Those things would outlast a nuclear war, those in Twinkies. Fair. Okay, so we can now add oil. Instead of wood. So we don't want to use wood in there if, po if at all possible. Okay, everyone's done. Oh, we just need to produce vegetables and build a coal chamber, I guess. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break because that's been over two hours. Uh... I'll just leave this like this while I go on break, I guess. I'll put some music.